Hi guys, welcome to Miraki the Tribe. My name is Ayushi, and I'm bringing you your random reading. Uh, this is uh, going to be timeless reading, and it's a short reading. I'm not going to uh, make it a long video. Uh, hopefully, it will resonate with you. So, it's a ten card Celtic cross. What are the energies and messages coming in? What are the energies and messages coming in? What can we know about the energies for the viewers of this video? I hope you are having a great day. I know I am looking a bit messy. Okay, let's begin. So the card for the um, uh, the heart of the matter here is the com uh, communication or long distance. For some of you, there is a back and forth communication or communication is a uh, heart of the matter. For example, uh, you are not either uh, communicating with someone that you have to communicate with or you are not, uh, you don't know how to communicate. You have some passion or uh, you want to uh, convey your passions, uh, but you are struggling to find a way to do that. Uh, I'm also getting that uh, either someone is traveling towards you or you want to travel towards someone because there is distance. What's uh, coming up as a challenge is the Son of Pentacles. So someone here is being very very stubborn. Uh, someone just uh, knows their way, their idea and they just want to follow their own path uh, that they have decided. They feel um, like they. this card is a Son of Pentacles so it's a, a little bit immature card. So it's a little bit a childish uh, sort of card. So someone who is uh, being very stubborn with their idea is coming up as a challenge. Uh, the underlying energy here is the three of pentacles so there needs to be some uh, teamwork that needs to happen or uh, it, this can be happening at workplace this can involve three people or it just means that uh, you need to have harmony uh, like uh, there needs to be some effort from both the sides in past uh, we had wheel of, uh, wheel of fortune so I'm getting that um, something in past uh, had uh, like it happened uh, something that happened in the past had no control like you had no control over what happened in the past because uh, it was karmic because it was something uh, brought to you by the universe and uh, it happened so that uh, the path that you were taking in past uh, it, it, it needed some sort of a shift so that's why wheel of fortune it could have been a uh, you can uh, feel that you, uh, you were not treated well or it was unfortunate uh, or you can feel that uh, in past you were not um, not feeling so uh, you were feeling powerless over the situation that happened in the past now what's crowning you is the seven of uh, swords so you feel that uh, there is some deception going on, you feel that there is someone hiding some info information from you, you feel that uh, that uh, things cannot be trusted, you are very alert, you are very attentive, you are keeping your one eye open, you feel that someone will deceive you or uh, you just sense some deception around you. So, but it is all in your head. Uh, how uh, In future there are things still hidden things are not clearing up uh, the, uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces person uh, as Pisces or a Cancer uh, and the challenge here is uh, the earth sign so Taurus Virgo Capricorn in future I'm seeing that uh, you are still trying to understand what has happened what uh, like why how all these questions are coming in your head but you are not gaining clarity so that is why probably you feel there is deception because you feel that there is something hidden, something is being uh, 
something is being um, held back from you. How you come up in this reading is as Ace of Swords. So you, yes, you want clarity, you want truth, you want facts, you want um, uh, like you want everything factual uh, in a way that things should be uh, properly laid out. Laid out. You want things to be very clearly mentioned. Uh, you want to speak your truth. You want to come out with your truth, and uh, either you want to cut the cords or you want um, to uh, finally say what you have to say. In your surrounding, there is someone who is very nurturing, caring, lo loving, giving. This person can be a, a spiritual person. This can also be a Taurus person. You can also be dealing with a uh, air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or you have this placement in your chart. Now, uh, this person who is Empress, who is surrounding you, uh, who is there is support for you from uh, people around you. Like there is at least one person who who is. Um, supporting you this person uh, can be an entrepreneur uh, they have their own business this person can uh, this person has enough to offer you some sort of uh, nurturing or um, this can be simply a mother figure you hope or you uh, fear you basically it's a hope you hope that someone will come towards you with a uh, love message or uh, you fear that uh, there is a water sign around you that you fear probably but whoever this uh, entity is they are very naive and uh, innocent uh, this person uh, can wear their hearts on the sleeve and it can be to uh, I almost said Taurus uh, so you are hoping for this message to come um, but it is still a um, premature offer like uh, it's not a commitment it's just someone telling you that they find you sweet and attractive or they just Okay, so this cup is emotional. So there is an emotional connection that you are hoping for. Uh, what's the outcome of this reading is that, uh, if you are resonating with it, that it's a major arcana. So I'm getting that you have to rise above something that has been uh, torturing you, that has been holding you back, that has been keeping you down and rise above it uh, in order to uh, fly. Like, you know, in order to... Uh, Separate yourself from this situation. Uh, either uh, you will, ma you have to make a call by the end of this. Um, like as an outcome, you have to make a call. Now you can make a call to either uh, work it out. Like it, it, if it's at workplace, you want to work it out, or uh, you want to make a call regarding uh, if the situation is not serving you. You are either going to speak your truth, or uh, you just want to uh, forgive and forget about the situation. You don't want to do. Uh, you want to. Uh, you want to liberate yourself, basically. Now, guys, I don't know if I'm going to upload this video, uh, but if this message was helpful, then this reading was for you. Uh, uh, someone is being stubborn here, and I think there is fear of unknown. I'm getting a call actually, so I'll have to leave. So there is a fear of unknown. By the way, bottom of the deck here is a mother of cups. This is uh, a water sign. Again, someone very emotional, very uh, caring and someone who is selfless and giving. Uh, so, I'll see what's uh, beneath it. There needs to be, uh, there, there can be a Sagittarius person or there needs to, this is divinely guided and there needs to be some balance, temperance, like uh, you need to be um, calm and cool and composed. Uh, it, it requires some effort and below that you have two of cups and then uh, you have ten of cups. I think right now you are very very confused if you want to uh, make an effort or uh, I am I, getting these are nice energies but there is some deception uh, in your head like you feel that uh, you are being deceived or in future you will feel that uh, there is still something uh, being hidden from you so you want to uncover that truth whatever that is so guys that uh, I hope that was helpful and I have to go now take care bye bye